That's Amanda, Princess of Thieves. Really? Basil, you could work up some enthusiasm. I come bearing gifts. The Francis Marshall collection. You bring it here. How did you know it was me? Who else would it be, dearie? And who else would I bring it to? Harry, except he's as dead as a doornail. With Harry gone, you had to come to your old pal, Basil. Ah, it's a shame what happened to dear old Harry, isn't it? Tragic. No, I don't know who or why. I just know his time is up. And unlike us immortals, he doesn't get to turn the hourglass over and let the sand run through again. Forty cents on the dollar. I need the goods to show the buyer. Unless you want 20 cents on the dollar. You screw me on this, Baz? And you're going to wish you were as lucky as poor old Harry. Don't turn around. Hand it over. What else you got in there? Nice sword. Four three two for progress. Seven three seven North Bodswell. All the cars. So you don't have my money or my jewels? Amanda, the wanker shot me. You know how I am about pain. Poor baby. It hurt a lot. What did he look like, Baz? Tall, dark clothes, ski oh, mask. This is pissing me off. You? I had this shirt custom made in Hong Kong. I want you to pay attention to me, Baz. Harry was murdered and the weapon was planted on me. You're a suspect? A cop set me up. Why do there have to be so many cops in the same room? Poor Basil. You must need a weekend in the country after the terrible ordeal you've been through. I should be just fine, Ducky. Sweet of you to care. There's two cops in is up with Nick. I don't know. He checked our files out of personnel, the four of us that busted Amanda, even you. Well, I'm sure he's got his reasons. To what? Burn us? You need to have a little talk with him, Claudia. This guy's going to hold me out.
Damn. What's up with you? No, look, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. What? Did you see it? That was him. Who? The bastard that killed me. Which one? The one that was talking to the female cop. I recognized his voice. There is shy. That means he killed Harry. That means he's got your jewels. Lovely, you brought them. Got your message, ducks. I just got in three little items I thought you'd be interested in. Came by them fair and square. Of course you did. We have here a lovely crystal vase. Thought it looked smashing on your sideboard there. Mm -hmm. A lamp the library and a delightful little oil by Mary Cassatt circa 1900. I think you're familiar with it. Yes, I can't believe that old thing is still making the rounds. Put that back. You're not interested then? Nothing from the Maria Rose. I wouldn't go near it. Too hot. Too hot? You burned down your own business to get the insurance money and you're bitching about too hot. Tragic accident. That the police are still investigating. Now, who's handling the Maria Rose, Basil? Don't know, dearie. You are such a terrible liar. You brought me here under false pretenses, you did. You don't want to buy at all. So sue me. It's the immortal you're interested in, right? I want you to sit down and tell me all about it. Only what I read in the papers, Ducky. I don't interfere in the mortal business if I can help it. I'm rather fond of my head where it is. He's not immortal, Basil. I was there. I saw him. I didn't sense him. Really? Mm. And how do you rise from the dead? I don't know. Maybe he wasn't dead. Or maybe you need to give your head a shake. Your radar's wonky. Basil, there's an item on the Maria Rose. It's very important to me. Very personal. Sentimental? You? <laughs> I want you to find the item and I want you to arrange a meeting. Maybe some other time. <clears throat> oh, bloody hell, that's Tiffany. And what is this smashing little item? Waterford. Hand it here, Ducky. After you make the phone call, Ducky. Oh, this is quite heavy. All right, you, you win. Hand it over. Get on the phone, Basil. My motor control is a little iffy when I'm irritated. Make the call, make the call. <laughs> 